this video we are going to testing this is the contents of the my previous video testing hypothesis in this video we are finding the significance for proportions here the formula is here we see only the single proportions only here the first sub case is we are going to see only single proportions So then here we are following them. So we say first what is it? if x is the number of number of success in independent trends. Trials with constant probability. The of success we call it, we denote as the the letter P. For each trial, we have expression of x is from the binomial distribution n times p. That is, here n is a number of trials. total number of trials this is probability of success our variance is variance of x is n times P times 1 minus P. This is my variance. So, we from the central limit theorem, whenever n is very large, every distribution is coincide with uh, tends to a normal distribution. Yes, using this fact, we are following, suppose we assume that n is a very large number. So, is x follows normal distribution of n p comma n p times 1 minus p ok so x follows not the standard normal distribution so we will convert to the standard and normal distribution to standard normal distribution is yes. so we know that we define the new random variable equal to x minus expectation of x that is our mean divided by standard deviation of x standard deviation of x means square root of variance of x so in our problem we will get it as x minus expectation x is np square root of n times p 1 minus p. Okay. So, this is now, this implies ez follows standard normal distribution. What is the standard means? The mean is 0, variance is 1. So, now whenever we are going, this is the, this is the key idea I am going to use. We are testing the hypothesis. Now we are going to use the this test only. So two tail and one tail from the previous video. Two tail means suppose they give the alpha significance level is alpha they given. You first to find z alpha by two from 
is a table okay and mod is it is greater than is it alpha by 2 okay so modulus value of is it alpha by 2 suppose it's a two tail okay that is more important two tail so alpha significance level this implies reject null hypothesis so that is mod is it is less than mod is it alpha by 2 then not reject null hypothesis or h not suppose it's a one tail test one tail test means you find you calculate from z alpha from the table suppose alpha significance from z table mod z is greater than z alpha you reject h not or null hypothesis suppose mod is it is less than mod is it alpha not reject so null hypothesis you just simply h not this is the key point so what is the z formula is z formula is we given this is my Is it formula? This is our first problem. A coin tossed one hundred forty-four times, and a person gets eight heads. Can we say that coin is unbiased one? this is the given so i want to first write what are the given what is the given is first one is given n equal to 144 correct because the number of trials are 144 so number of success is 80 that is what is my x x equal to 80 so now i want to say what is the p correct because in our formula i want to use z is equal to x minus np correct so n is there x is there i want to choose what is my p what the given is can we say that coin is unbiased one unbiased means so i can say that h1 P equal not equal to zero point five. H not is my P equal to zero point five. Suppose I say that the coin is unbiased one. That is P equal then each time I get the try head is zero point five. Success of heads correct. Success of tails is zero point five. So P equal to zero point five. H one is P is not equal to zero point. So this means. So a coin is unbiased. This meaning is coin is biased. Okay, that is the first I propose the what is the null hypothesis. Now I want to calculate the z value. What is z value? X minus n times p divided by square root of n times p times one minus p. So what is x? X is eighty because eighty times you will get the success. 
when we were sample correct n is totally 144 times you are running the experiment the p is 0.5 divided by square root of 144 times 0.5 times 0.5 So, if you are getting the answer, is you will get it as eight over three, correct? Eight over three. This is approximately I from now I calculate it. So one point three. Suppose they didn't give what is the significance level. So I will assume that. So it's a one tail or two tail. So from this one, I can say that this is two tail. So I assume that alpha equal to zero point zero five. Then what is the my eject alpha by two value is one point nine six. From this one, okay. This implies mod eject value. Mod eject value is one point three three, and mod eject alpha by two value is. One point nine six. This implies odd digit is less than odd digit alpha by two. So this implies not reject the null hypothesis. So last example, we have seen two tail test. Problem. In this problem, we are going to see one tail test one example. Problem. So, in a big city, 325 men out of 600 men were found to be smokers. Does this information support the conclusion that the majority of men in this city are smokers? Okay. So, first I want to write in what is the given. What is the given? Suppose in a big city. Number of success that is our x equal to three hundred twenty five, and out of six hundred men, so n equal to six hundred. That is our first I can to say what is the x, what is n. Then we are going for the null hypothesis. Does this information supports that the conclusion that the majority of men in the cities are Smokers. So I want to my H one is they suggest that some months are more than so my P is probably is greater than zero point five. Then what is my H not? So the previous video I already said that hypothesis no hypothesis always equals to so P equal to zero point five. So this way this is right tail. Test correct, right tail. So they didn't give the any significance level. So I can assume that alpha equal to zero point zero five or ninety five percent. Any one of things you can assume. Okay, both are same only. Okay, so a right tail test only. H not is p equal to zero point five. H one is p is greater than zero point five. Now I want to calculate the eject. Eject value is x bar x minus n p n p divided by square root of n times p times one minus p. Some people the one minus p they use the q. Both are same only. So what is x? X equal to three twenty five. N equal to six hundred. So three twenty five minus six hundred point five divided by square root of n is six hundred six hundred zero point five times zero point five. So, if you are using your calculator, you will get the answer is two point zero four. So, what is the eject alpha value? Eject alpha value is from the table. You will get one point six four five.
5. So clearly mod EZ is greater than EZ alpha. What is the meaning is? Reject null hypothesis. Because so then obviously we conclude that the majority men in the city are smokers. I hope you understand the how to define the null hypothesis and how to convert it also. Null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis and how to check it. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching this video.